latest on May 25th around the wide world of tropics. Here's your tropical weather bulletin. The tropics remain quiet again today with pretty much the same situation that we had yesterday 24 hours ago on our last tropical weather bulletin. It's May the 25th, no name storms are active around the world, we have one in Vest. In the North Atlantic, the hurricane season begins on June the 1st. The next name on the list is Barry. We had Andrea in the last week if you missed it. Invest 91E has a 40% chance of development in the next five days, according to the National Hurricane Center. It's day 11 of hurricane season there. There's no storms active in the Western Pacific or in the North Indian Ocean today, and in the Southern Hemisphere it's equally quiet, with of course the seasons winding down in that part of the world. So, for the, I think, third day in a row, the main feature is Invest 91E, and the only feature that is, 25 miles an hour in winds, 1,007 millibars, it's 158 miles from Managua, Nicaragua, 11.2 north, 88.4 west. This is what we expect according to the best estimates from the models over the next few days for it to pretty much stay in place for another day or two and then move inland over Central America and then appear in the southwestern Caribbean most likely by the middle of next week. Still a very uncertain uh, projection that and it could stay in the eastern Pacific entirely. Looking at the wind shear graphic, you can see there around 5 to 10 knots of wind shear. That's been decreasing for those who have been watching over the last few days. Um, so, and, and looking at the imagery there as well, there is a little bit of a circulation starting to develop. So the chances are starting to rise a little bit, up to 40%. It was 30% in the next five days yesterday. In the North Atlantic, this is how the satellite imagery looks, uh, empty towards the east, so we look towards that southwestern region there where the moisture is really building up. Uh, you can see both sides of Central America, we've got significant amounts of convection. Uh, 91E is on the left hand side of that on the Pacific side, and anything could really happen out of those two features, and quite often it does lead to Atlantic formation down the line in the next few days. We'll be watching very closely, nothing on the radar just yet. In the eastern Pacific, uh, out at sea that is, still things looking extremely quiet, as you would expect really, out in the open waters, but you can see some convection there near the equator, but really nothing of a tropical cyclone note. Um, an empty ocean. The western Pacific looks like this, there was a very tiny little feature that was approaching the Mariana Islands, it's still traceable there actually, uh, but really nothing to speak of to be honest. A few thunderstorms occurring in parts of the Philippines. Uh, in the uh, south western Pacific and in the Australian region, things looking very quiet here as well. Uh, a flare up there just near the Solomon Islands, but really nothing is likely to come of that. The Indian Ocean is pretty quiet as well, some thunderstorms along the western coast of India and over the Maldives, and in the southern hemisphere just over the equator by the looks of things, or maybe on the equator, a little feature there, but won't be doing anything too. Sea surface temperatures where Invest 91E is are around 28 or 29 degrees Celsius. On the Atlantic side, around the same, 28 degrees, uh, falling to 27 or 26 over the Central and Eastern Caribbean. In the North Indian Ocean, temperatures are very warm, 30 degrees or more on both basins of the North Indian Ocean, the Bay of Bengal and the Arabian Sea. And in the Western Pacific, looking out for those early tropical zones, the uh, South China Sea and the Philippine Sea, temperatures there again, very warm. Um, and really not much else to speak of on the sea surface temperatures there, things are ready to go. Invest 91E looks like this on the infrared satellite imagery coupled with the visible there. Uh, you can see how it's been looking, There's definitely that um, curvature around the centre of this system. Uh, it does appear to have a centre but not particularly well defined one at this time, but it's better than what we were looking at yesterday, so chances have gone up a little. Andrea was the first storm in the Atlantic. And the next name is Barry, Alvin is the first name in the Eastern Pacific, and Aconi is the next name in the Central Pacific Ocean. We've had 26 storms so far this year around the world. The next name in the Western Pacific is Sepat, and the next name in the North Indian Ocean is Vayu. You can find Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest, our YouTube page if you're not there already, subscribe if you haven't so far, and you can find our Facebook and Twitter pages, search Force 13 all in text. 
the next name in Australia is Blake and the next name in Fiji in the Fiji region is Rita. If you have any other suggestions for the Tropical Weather Bulletin format, it is still a fairly new thing for 2019, please get in touch. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force13. You can also contact me on Discord, it's Fool13 at extension 9094 and Force13 on Skype. You can also find our server link to our Discord server for Tropical Weather Chat in our description.